Hi, we're here today at Station 300 and I'm with John Holden who is the Director of Operations and Guest Happiness. But we are here for a different event. We are here to celebrate something inside of Station 300. John, tell us a little bit about your new restaurant here. We're very excited to open this new restaurant called Zeppelins. As you can see, maybe see behind us, we've got a couple of Zeppelins hanging from the ceiling. We've got a hot air balloon uh, that is a functional bar. The Zeppelins concept is a family oriented um, full service restaurant. You can buy chicken, you can buy uh, seafood, you can buy steaks, you can buy anything that you would get in a normal restaurant. So now you don't necessarily have to be an avid bowler or even come in to bowl. You could just come into the restaurant and use the restaurant, is that correct? Absolutely. We want individuals that just want to come in and have a nice meal, quiet meal. We also have something different. We have live entertainment throughout the week. We've got a band plays on Tuesday nights. Uh, we have bands every Friday and Saturday night as well. Okay, now you're located out here at Buckwalter Place and there's a lot of activity here. How long has uh, Station 300 been here? Station 300 opened on January the 7th, um, and then we reconfigured and reopened Zeppelin's restaurant in mid-June. Okay, now this is a pretty big facility. Tell us a little bit about your how many people you staff here. We have about 70 people on our staff. Uh, a lot of them are servers, bartenders um, that work in Zeppelin's, and then the remainder work in the bowling center and arcade room itself. Well, that's awesome. So that's that's a good bit of people here in town that work here. It's a great place, great restaurant. We're Yay! happy to be here with you today and celebrate your ribbon cutting and grand opening. And we look forward to many events here at Station 300 and Zeppelin's. Please come out to Zeppelin's and see John and his staff. And it's back to you. Thanks, Shelley.